From the studios of WBONTV.com, here's what's happening. The Laurel County Sheriff's Office is on the lookout for a missing woman that has not been seen for several days. According to the Sheriff's Office, 41-year-old Kimberly Colette has not been seen since February 28th in Manchester. Authorities are asking for the public's help in order to locate her, and anyone with information says to contact the Laurel County Sheriff's Office. A multi-county chase began in Mercer County this weekend and ended in a crash in Woodford County. According to authorities, James Miller of Lexington had to be taken to UK Medical Center as a result of the wreck, and he's now looking at a handful of charges as a result. Police have reportedly searched the vehicle and located suspected methamphetamine as well as a firearm. A grand jury has now indicted a Madison County man for multiple charges, including resisting arrest, fleeing or fighting police, and wanton endangerment, among others. According to sheriff's deputies, Charles Bach of Richmond was located after police responded to a call of a potentially stolen truck. When deputies arrived at the scene, a truck matching the description was located, and police attempted to pull Bach over, but he allegedly refused to stop for them. He attempted to evade deputies down South I-75, even disregarding traffic signals along the way and exceeding 90 miles per hour. He allegedly told police he was attempting suicide and was taken to Baptist Health before being launched in the Madison County Detention Center. And two men are now behind bars in the detention center after they allegedly put a shock collar meant for a dog on a child as punishment. According to the Sheriff's Department, 42-year-old Theodore Sampson and 35-year-old Luke Sampson, both of Berea, were taken into custody for putting the device on a 4-year-old. Deputies report this was allegedly in order to punish the young child. They are currently lodged in the detention center without a bond, and they're both charged with criminal abuse of a child 12 or younger. For more stories such as these, be sure to visit Richmond's very own WBONTV.com. I'm Marissa Hempel.